Hi everybody, I am quarantined here. I thought I'd switch up my content a bit and do something I haven't seen a bunch of people talk about. We all love ARK, that's why you're here, but it isn't the most scientifically accurate game. I'll be taking a look at 20 things the game gets wrong, so let's dive right in. First off, I'll start with something big. The selection of dinosaurs the devs included in the game would not have coexisted in real life because they included creatures from all different time periods. They've included creatures such as the Trilobite from as far back as the Cambrian period in the Paleozoic era 542 million years ago, as well as creatures such as the Dodicarus from as recently as the Pleistocene period in the Cenozoic era 1.8 million years ago, and everything in between. Ark has quite a few creatures that aren't real. These of course include the wyverns, reapers, the basilisk, the glow creatures from aberration, the phoenix, the golems, and so on, but some people might be surprised at some of the made up creatures in the game, such as the velanosaur from extinction or the morelatops from scorched earth. As I mentioned in one of the videos in my ARK dinosaur review series, there is no scientific evidence to suggest that the dilophosaurus could spit venom as well as no evidence that it actually had its signature neck frills. This portrayal of the Dilo is inspired by the Dilo in Jurassic Park. Also pertaining to the Dilo, real life specimens were much larger than how the dinosaurs portrayed in game. In Ark, they appear to be maybe 2 meters long, whereas it should be up to 18 meters in length. Pteranodons in real life are very light. The methods to determine the average weight of these dinosaurs are somewhat unreliable, but many sources state that the pteranodon would have averaged 50 to 60 pounds. There is no way that pteranodons would actually be able to fly with a, say, 150 pound human on their back, let alone all of the items in their inventory as well. Same thing goes for the Argentavis, which averages 155 pounds, the Pelagornis averaging 50 pounds, and probably the Tapahara, but I couldn't find any weight stats on that. In Ark, the infamous Jagannathosaurus appears as the biggest carnivore in the entire game, and it's at least three times larger than the Rex. In reality, very few gigafossils have been discovered, and it's difficult to estimate their size. Most sources say that it's comparable in size to the Tyrannosaurus, maybe a bit larger, maybe a bit smaller, but it certainly wasn't three times as big. The Titanosaur is actually mislabeled because Titanosaur simply means a member of Titanosauria, which is a diverse group of sauropod dinosaurs made up of many genera and even more species. If the game was more specific, this dinosaur would likely be an Argentinosaurus. I mentioned this in one of my dinosaur review videos as well, but the Compsognathus was believed to be the smallest dinosaur that ever existed, until the 1990s when scientists discovered the Microraptor. Ark portrays the Microraptor as smaller than the Compi, even though it wasn't in real life. Scientists have estimated the Compi's speed to be around 40 miles per hour, making them the fastest known dinosaur. In ARK, however, they're slower than most. This stat has been highly debated among scholars, so I'll let this one slide. In ARK, you can order your tamed Oviraptor to steal the eggs of wild creatures, and considering Oviraptor means egg thief, it makes sense at first glance. The first Oviraptor fossil was found over a nest of eggs in the 1920s, so scientists believe it to be stealing another dinosaur's eggs. But it wasn't until further examination into the 1990s when they discovered that the eggs actually belonged to the Oviraptor. It's been concluded that the Oviraptor most likely didn't steal eggs, so the portrayal of the dino in Ark is outdated at best. The Ankylosaurus in Ark is much spikier than its real life counterpart. The armor on the real world Anki was fairly smooth. Also regarding the Anki, much research has gone into how it could have used its tail as a weapon. One study ran CT scans on various Anki fossils and theorized on their attacking potential. 
They concluded that the largest clubs could generate between 364 and 718 megapascals of impact stress. To put that in perspective, 100 megapascals is enough to break bone. Taking all of that into consideration, I don't think it's fair and or accurate that the average arc anki struggles to take down a raptor. Although, if they could fight in game like they did in real life, the anki would be way OP, so I'll let this one slide too. Terror birds in game can glide for long distances when you jump off a hill while riding them. But in real life, they were flightless birds and it's highly unlikely that they'd be able to do that. In ARK, the Carbonimus eats a strictly herbivorous diet, whereas in real life the Carbonimus had extremely strong jaws, like the modern day snapping turtle, so scientists theorize it ate an omnivorous, if not strictly carnivorous, diet. Although there is evidence to theorize the Uteranus was a pack hunter, it most likely would not have teamed up with Carnotaurs. The Uteranus in real life lived in what is now Northeast China, while the Carnotaurus hailed from what is now Argentina. Although the continents have shifted even further since then, it's highly unlikely that those two dinosaurs would have crossed paths. Luckily, there was never, at any point in history, spiders as large as the Uranio. The largest true spider arachnid fossil found had the spider measuring in at 15 centimeters in length, which is only about 6 inches. A fairly famous event in archaeology is the discovery of the Bernazart iguanodons. In a coal mine in Bernazart, Belgium, in 1878, miners came across the remains of at least 38 iguanodons, most of them in near-perfect condition. These iguanodons lived in the swamp, and once they perished, the clay from the swamp settled on the bodies and preserved them extremely well. Considering this, along with other studies concluding iguanodons were swamp-dwelling creatures, I think Ark does a disservice to this dinosaur by not having the swamp on the island be one of its spawn locations. Also regarding the iguanodon, it was theorized to be a very social and pack-oriented creature, but in Ark, they mostly roam solo. Scientists have long been fascinated with the whip-like tail of the Diplodocus, which is long, thin, and covered in spikes. The use of this tail has been debated recently, as it may not have been good for direct impact, but scientists have suggested that it could whip its tail at supersonic speeds to produce a loud crack which could have been used to scare its predators. Either way, it's clear that Arx Diplodocus should use its tail in some capacity, instead of simply passively taking damage from any of its attackers. Thanks for watching, I'm gonna wrap it up for today. I realize that some of these facts are obscure or nitpicky, but it's all in good fun. At the end of the day, Arc is a video game, and it doesn't need to be completely scientifically accurate to be enjoyable. Let me know if anything I said surprised you, or if you know of any other way Arc rewrites history a bit. I'm sure I can research more and find more inaccuracies, and this video was fun to make, so if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe. Thanks again for watching, and I hope to see you here next time.